Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. Now in this brief tutorial, I'm going to share how you can simply connect a custom domain name with your Google Sites website so that you can move away from the free Google Sites branded domain name over to a professional custom domain name. This is going to improve your website's visibility, authority and credibility online. Okay, so just quickly before we go ahead and dive into Google Sites, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and connect a custom domain name with your Google Sites website. Okay, so here we are in the back end of a Google Sites website. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, we're gonna use this website to connect to a custom domain name. Now, as you can see, this website is called Stu's Consulting. If we navigate up to this share icon up here, you can see that this is the current domain name that we're using for this website. However, like I mentioned, we wanna connect a professional custom domain name to our Google Sites website. So in order for us to do that, what we wanna do is exit out of this and then navigate up to settings. Here we want to locate custom domains and then click on start setup. And this is where we can add our custom domain if we have one. If you're yet to purchase a custom domain name, what you can do is head over to Hostinger to purchase that domain name. Simply head over to hostinger.com or click the link in our description below this video and that's gonna take you here. And again, this is for those that currently do not have a custom domain. And it's important to know that there are hundreds of domain providers that you can choose from to purchase your domain name. However, for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm going to use Hostinger. Now, if we navigate over to domains, this is where you can search for your desired domain. And the cost for your domain name per year can vary depending on the type of domain that you go for. But on average, a domain name investment will cost you around $25 per year. So go ahead and search for your ideal domain name and then navigate through the simple process of purchasing that domain name if you currently don't have one. Okay, so because I've already purchased a domain name from Hostinger, I'm gonna head back to Google Sites. Then once you arrive back inside your Google site, simply navigate up here and add the custom domain name that you've purchased. And if you receive this message here, this domain is not verified, then we first need to verify the ownership of this domain. To do that, simply navigate up to verify your ownership and click here. And that's gonna take you to the Google Search Console. And this is going to allow us to verify the ownership of this domain. Under domain, you'll see your domain name down here. Simply go ahead and click on continue. Then what we need to do is copy and add this text record into the DNS configuration for this domain. So to do that, simply click on copy and then head back to your domain provider where you purchased your domain name. And like I mentioned, I used Hostinger to purchase this domain. So I'm gonna navigate over to domains and then locate the domain that I wanna connect with my Google site and then click on manage. Then what we wanna do is locate name servers and click on change. And within your domain provider's account, what you wanna do is locate manage DNS records. Then come down and we need to add a new record. To do that, click on type and then come down to text. Name will remain the same. Then navigate over to text value and paste in the value that we copied from the Google search console. Then navigate over to add record. And just like that, the DNS record has been created. Now let's head back to the Google search console. Then back here, what we're gonna do is come down and click on verify. And as you can see, the ownership has been verified. I'm gonna navigate down and click on done. Now, if you wanna learn more about using the Google Search Console, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description for you to check out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is head back to Google Sites. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just wanna mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities, and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you wanna learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. And once you've arrived back inside your Google site, you might need to re-add your domain name, your custom domain name, and you should see this little tick over here. That means you have verified the ownership of your domain. Then we can move on to the next step. And finally, what we need to do is create a new CNAME entry inside our DNS settings. So what you wanna do is come down here and copy 
this value over here, including this little full stop. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then head back to your DNS settings and then locate manage DNS records again, then come down to type. We're gonna change this to C name and then under name, what we're gonna do is change this to www. Then within the target or destination, we want to paste in that bit of text that we copied from Google Sites. And as you can see, I've added that in here. We're gonna keep the TTL the same and then click on add record. And as you can see, that has been added successfully. Now, if you get an error, that means that you need to delete the existing cPanel that you may already have listed within your DNS records. So make sure you either delete that CNAME record or update that existing CNAME record with the new record details that we just showed you. Okay, so once you've done that, head back to Google Sites. Then come down and click on Done. And congratulations, just like that, you've connected your custom domain name, your professional domain name, with your Google Site website. Now, it can take up to 48 hours for your domain to propagate across the internet, meaning that it can take up to 48 hours for your domain to be pointed to your website. However, that is how you can connect your custom domain name with your Google Site website. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Google Sites tutorial, helping you connect a custom domain name with your Google Sites website. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.